I started these marigold seeds, you guys, on Sunday. It's Wednesday morning. And look, already they germinated. Very exciting. It's not food, but still. Okay, you guys, I'm working from home today because it is finals week, so lots of marking to do, and I just needed to focus. But I always get antsy around lunchtime, so I've had lunch. I got up and just walked around the house for a little bit. I thought, I'm going to check on my seeds again. So maybe I didn't see it this morning because it was pretty dark in here. But check this out. So it is Wednesday morning. I started these seeds Sunday afternoon. If you don't grow for any other reason, seeds just want to grow and they make you smile when they germinate. And like literally, I sowed them Sunday afternoon and then I checked them Monday morning just to see. But I'm not too far off because by Wednesday, look at this, let me show you. Okay, I showed you these guys this morning, but look at how much they've grown just since this morning. These are the marigolds, but check it. I'm not sure how much you can see but these are all of the brassicas. Like they're going, they're doing it. Oh, it's so awesome. I think I'm a little early also, not for the brassicas though. These are all good. So kohlrabi, kohlrabi, kale. Let me see. Um, oh, Brussels sprouts. These are a first for me. Very exciting. Uh, no broccoli yet. Um, and then, Look at this. Here are the hollyhocks. Uh, these are the fringe, it says. No blacks are up yet, um, but pretty exciting. And no tomatoes to report, but still pretty cool. Very excited. Morning, everyone. Started the day off. Oh, look, I got a little feather. Started the day off with a fun run with Brian, much to his chagrin. Although it was it was good. It was nice to have a buddy uh, to run with. The dogs loved it. They were super excited. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do today. I got to sow some lettuce seeds, sow some more seeds. Um, have to bring my other seed rack into the house to get set up for the seeds that have already germinated. I'm having a weed problem with my seed starter because somehow seeds or weed seeds got in there. So that's not been fun. Uh, and then Fancy Pants wants to be a mom again. She is in lockdown. So today I'm going to retrofit one of our rabbit tractors. And actually um, we used this last year for the hen uh, that was sitting and it worked really well. I have a little bit of a different setup I'm gonna try this year. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna wheel it over to in front of the shop. I'm just gonna basically raise a little board up off the ground. Um, and then use a, a, it's like a plastic bucket. I'll show, I'll show you uh, for a nesting box. So I'm going to get that, that going. Look at these guys. They're funny. I'm just going to flip this around, but they're all in the, where we used to keep our firewood. Poking around in there. It's kind of funny. So lots to do. I have a lot of firewood to move. Brian cleaned out the sugar shed yesterday, cleaned all the pans. Um, yeah, it's spring, spring has sprung. So we're just racing to get all these jobs done. I really miss having my rabbits and I'm really looking forward to getting more. The cool thing with this setup is Brian built a little door. So once the chicks are big enough, we can open the door and they can all kind of get out and explore with the other chickens. And I move them. So when we move the chicken tractor, I move this right along with them. So everybody kind of gets to know each, know each other and still share space. Probably 
really just put it right on the ground. Okay, so I've got this red thing, tote, and I got it stuffed with hay. The tricky part is going to be moving her over. So let's take this over. I don't think I can do this with one hand, but I'll try. And I got water and food to put in there with her. So I'll do that first, actually. I'll put the water and food in so that once she's in, I can just leave her. I didn't even need to bring this over here. But the gang's coming to check it out. Hopefully she'll settle. It's hard to move a hen um, with her nest. But I think she'll be all right. They like it dark. That's the key. So this is in here. She's got really good wind protection um, as well as darkness. And I'm going to put her kind of sideways to the coop in the same orientation that she's facing now. So the nice thing about this retro fit that Brian did is that I don't need to bother her so much. I can just open the door and put the food in the coop for her. And I put it right up close so she doesn't have to get out too far to get food. And I'm just gonna go get her water. These guys all want in. So some water. You're all right, lady. <laughs> There's some water. Put the food and water beside each other. And some grass will grow up in there, which is really nice. I'm gonna put all the eggs in and then I'm gonna grab fans. Okay, she's in. We'll see if she settles down. She might not, and that might just be the way it goes. Um, but the problem with leaving her in the regular box is that the other chickens kick her out. Um, so she won't sit for a long period of time. She was out when I went in there this morning. She's having a snack, so she might just have a snack and then try and find the eggs. If not, I tried. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit longer till they're in full lockdown, which she isn't. Um, but everybody else is very concerned over there. So we'll see. I'm just going to leave them alone and hope that they sort it out. Okay. Fancy did not like being put in the like birder cage this morning. Um, so I put a blanket over her. All the other chickens were like milling around, but she's finally settled in and is on the nest. So hopefully she'll stay there. I'm going to keep her covered at night just to keep it toasty warm because it might not be as warm in there as it is in... Everybody's coming. We got to inspect as soon as they hear me out here. Anyways, it might not be as warm outside as it is in the coop, but... See if you can see her back in there. She's happy. Yeah, so we're doing some spring cleanup. We're moving a bunch of wood uh, down to a neighbor's house because they have an outdoor wood stove and they can use it. Just some of our slab wood and stuff. So that's great. A little bit of spring cleanup. I did some weeding in the garden today. Ooh, dandelions. Got rid of the dandelions just in the garden because I love dandelions otherwise. Um, but yeah, so think we're we're ready for spring I started all my lettuce a little late but whatevs it's happening uh and anything else any other plants that I don't start from seed I'm just gonna buy at our local Rose Park landscaping or whatever I think that's the name of it
Hey everybody. It is still pretty cool. It's about the end of April. It's my little sister's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Alicia. And my friends look, are coming to say hello. Whoa, Huey. Hmm, hubba hubba. <laughs> Anyways, I have started, oh, look at him go. He's, he is, this guy is relentless. Spring is in the air. Love is in the air, actually. Hugh. Huey, come talk to me. Okay, so Hugh doesn't like orange. He hates my Crocs. Hi, buddy. Seems a little preoccupied. Bud, Huey, don't want you to hurt me. Sometimes I'm afraid of him because he gets me. I put my hand on I think he's going to eat, and then he pecks me. Hi, bud. Let me pet, let me pet you. Anyways, <laughs> okay. So here's what's shaking today. I started a bunch of seeds. I actually started some lettuce and basil uh, yesterday. But I have all these old seeds, especially lettuce and spinach. Like I have so many spinach and lettuce seeds right now. So I was thinking, like I have this whole box. Hang on. I have this whole box, like all these. These are all like spinach and lettuce. And I just thought, I'm just going to try and sow some because I looked on the uh, weather network in the next couple of weeks, we're supposed to get highs of 15. It's probably too early. Go ahead and tell me it's too early because it probably is. But I just want to do it. So I'm going to. Uh, so I'm going to plant a bunch of spinach. And what I'm going to do is each week... I'm going to plant more until I get germination uh, and see, and just to see what happens. Um, and I'm also going to plant some peas just to get some stuff growing in here. Um, so yeah, it's windy. It's always so windy. I need to get one of those fancy little microphones with the foam or the dead cat or feathers or some kind of fluff on it. Um, I'm just so low budge. I'm Dutch. I don't want to spend the money um, on, on improving my outdoor audio, but I might because the wind noise really bugs me when I'm editing. Okay, let's, uh, let's plant some stuff here. And if it doesn't germinate or it doesn't dies, I won't, I won't mind because I've got lots. I think I'm going to put it in the uh, broccoli bed, which was the uh, garlic bed. Let's do this. I got to pull some of these plants from last year. I like to plant, I like to plant like lettuce and stuff, stuff that we eat regularly right at the front of the bed. This is a cutworm. Watch this. Let's see. One of these little ladies. Oh. Okay, we got spinach, some lettuce, and I'll keep my little box handy. So what I'll do is I'll wait about a week to see if any of those germinate, and then I'll reseed. So 
no love lost. It's like 15 minutes of time uh, to see if we can get some early greens. Now I'm going to go check on Fancy, uh, who yesterday was very agitated after I put her in the, the kind of brooder cage. But she settled down and she's been there overnight. And it's been kind of cool at night, so we covered it with a blanket. And I'm actually leaving it covered because they like it dark when they're broody. Um, and there's food and water in there. But she's settled in, so I'm going to go check on her now. But it is chilly out. Uh, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to uh, run inside and start dinner. But it's really cool to be able to get my hands in the soil uh this year of all of the years i don't know if it's because i kept saying i'm not going to plant a garden or a big as garden as i have but i'm just dying to get out here the garlic has taken off which is awesome it's so great to see some green in here um the strawberries are starting back my rhubarb's coming up um so yeah i feel like we're off to to the races which is really exciting so anyways hope you're having a great day thanks for watching get some seeds in the ground and we'll see you next time